So what have I been buying during lockdown in the UK recently? So this haul is going to be focused on a few sets that I've been keeping my eye on for my city as well as one for my Star Wars collection as I haven't got any good Star Wars sets in, in ages. Except for the sail barge with Max Rebo, obviously. So let's start with a set that I would have already built by the time this video goes out and that is Flower Fruit Mountain. Now, why have I built this already? Well, that's because live streaming is a lot quicker than editing one of these videos. But this set is an absolute beast. Now, I have nothing against Monkey Kid at all, but this is only my second one as these things are not cheap. But look at it. It's absolutely awesome. Now, I've watched all the episodes, so I know a little bit about the evil monkey and, and obviously the other monkeys. Yeah, they don't mention those in the series really, but obviously he's the Monkey King. So, you know, he's the best choice as ruler of all the monkeys. Also, we get three versions of the Monkey King. But it's really cool they've actually added a load of references from Journey to the West, which Monkey Kid is obviously based off of. Yeah, I had to watch a YouTube video to know about it. But with the birth of the Monkey King from a giant stone egg and him finding an awesome back cave behind a waterfall, this is this is actually true. This is actually from Journey to the West, no lie. But I think it's pretty cool they've added kind of all that stuff into the set. Now, like I said, it is a little weird that we get three variants of the Monkey King, but I didn't really buy this for the minifigures anyway. I just thought the actual set itself looked cool. And I had an idea of combining this with the Chinese temple fair for the city having this kind of magical temple in the heavens. Kind of like Ghost of Tsushima. I absolutely love that game. So kind of like that. Like, like, like it kind of at the top. I think that would look really cool. Obviously it'd be probably different perspective but yeah you get the idea so this is definitely going to be going over in the ninjaga district when i get around to it and i'm sure i'll have this already built on a live stream by now uh, yeah i just can't wait so talking the sets to bulk out the ninjaga kind of district area if i ever get round to that bit that is is the monastery of spin jitsu now i've actually opened this set to check inside because you can tell that it's like really really bad the box looks really dented and smashed in however it is now retired and i managed to pick this one up for retail price so i'm pretty happy with that but it looks fine when i opened it up so that's absolutely fine i mean it's a pretty obvious set for anyone who's into ninjago because this is very prominent in the first season before the kind of monastery got set on fire and then the 10th season with the murals kind of getting added and stuff and then it again got attacked i think the ninjas need like a, a better secret base Maybe, maybe Batman will help them out. Anyways, I'm not going to be displaying it like this. And instead, I'm going to be using elements of it for a mock or something for like one of the ground floors for like a Ninjago City style mock at some point uh, when I feel brave enough to tackle it. So I'll go really nice with that Temple of Madness and the Gamers Market and some of the sets I've been buying previously. So I'm going to do my best to pay homage to this set and it's a look really, really cool in the district. So... Please don't hate me Ninjago fans. Now going back over to the kind of normal city area, like that's the bit that we've been mainly working on is that kind of classic area. And I've been slowly obviously accumulating modular buildings over the last few months. They're getting pricier and pricier these things. But this month is no exception as I managed to pick up the Grand Emporium. Now I had to get this one. This is so good. I mean, look at it. The wrapped around sign, the cool kind of window cleaner guy and the shopping windows at the front and this really weird creepy face. Yeah, I know, it's still pretty cool. So this is gonna go where the diner currently is, as I think that's kind of like a really cool area next to the, kind of the park. And plus this set is actually meant to be a corner build, so that one isn't. Now obviously the interior of these sets just aren't as good as the newer ones. So like, they don't really show much of the interior on the set because I mean, that is not, I mean, look at it. Like they have, they have stores everywhere for this, but it's still kind of cool anyway. Like I said, it more than makes up for it on the corner build. And I think this is gonna look really, really great next to the uh, tuning garage, but I can't wait to add this one into the city. Okay, so moving away from city stuff now, I picked up a new Star Wars set, which I have not done since Moss Eisley. And I don't usually get them straight away as they often do drop in price a little bit, but I managed to get a 30% off coupon for this one. So I thought I'd pick it up and that is the transport shuttle. Now I wanted that UCS one for yonks, but it's just crazy money. So I'm gonna display this one proudly and maybe put a stand on it or something for Wicked Brick as those wings in landed mode. I mean, yeah, they look hideous. The minifigs are kind of cool, but I already have all of them because they're kind of older ones. But for people who don't have Return of the Jedi Luke, this will be awesome for their Mandalorian collection. So I think that's a great one to add to the collection. But like I said, I've already got him, but really, really cool. Yeah, he, he looks better than that. So one more thing that we had this week was a small package sent to us from Zavi. Now we were supposed to have this for a review a month ago, but with all the shipping issues, and stuff for like Brexit and what's going on in the world. We only received it this week. So what they sent us was actually one of the beatboxes and one of the actual minifigure bandmates series one, which is really, really cool. So the beatbox that we received was the pirate dude. I think he's called Punk Pirate Beatbox. But looking at the character, he's definitely no llama. But he does look pretty 
week and I'll definitely be opening him up and giving the app a go and posting some stories on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go over there and do so and we'll see kind of what this looks like. Going over to the bandmates, you guys know that I absolutely love collecting minifigures. So let's open this one up right now and see which one we got inside because obviously there's no way of feeling this. Yeah, feel guides are kind of off the channel now. Okay, so I don't even know what these things look like. So let's get out my trusty squidgy majigger and we'll open the sides. That is literally what you get inside. So which one do we have? It looks like we have a weird bunny lady. But these are actually apparently exclusive tiles. Only one of them you get per character and then the others are random. So that's kind of cool. According to the actual instructions, this one here is the exclusive tile for her. And these two here are the ones that you get randomly throughout. So that's a kind of cool one. I like that kind of karate looking one. And a singing gerbil. I don't know. So it looks like these guys always also come with a built stand. But there we go, that is the kind of cool beatboxing rabbit Madudi. So I don't think it shows you what her name is. So no, that's what I'm gonna call her, beatboxing rabbit guy. I don't know. But anyways, thanks Ali for sending these to us. We really appreciate it. And if you want to help out the channel, then there is an affiliate link in the description to buy yourself some Lego from Zavi, which is really, really cool. So like I said, thank you again. But for the rest of these sets, excluding Flower Fruit Mountain, because that one will have already been built, I'm going to add these to the poll for our members to vote on what we will build on our next live stream. So if you want to have a say on what gets built, then consider becoming a member. It's only 99p. But if you enjoyed the video, then please give us a like. And also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And as always, have an absolute awesome day.